Hey guys, how's it going? Aiming Rabbit here. Did you ever get a girlfriend that basically told you, hey, come over and we'll have an extra something? But <laughs> it only came out to jacking you off until you're right ready to climax, and then she's, well, sorry, hon, but we can't do that right now because I might wake up my dad or mom. So, left you pissed off and wondering why in the fuck did you even come over or pay attention to what she was saying. So, that's how I felt that Desert Tech did to me and some of the community. So, let's get going and I'll tell you more about it. Okay, you guys, I know some of you guys are really big fanboys of Desert Tech, and you're not going to agree with what I'm going to say. But you got to realize, this is just my opinion. I'm not doing through that the whole spectrum of what everyone thinks what Desert Tech is. This is my opinion, so I don't want you guys to be coming out and doing this. Hey, get out of here! This is my house! Oh my god, Brian, what happened? Who did this to you? Did you do this, you son of a bitch? Okay guys, with that disclaimer out of the way, I'm just going to tell you some high points and some low points that I feel that Desert Tech is doing right now. First, let's get the good out of the way. Yes, Desert Tech is a great company. They make high quality products. They do bullpup designs, like their covert SRS system, which I personally want to own and I think is badass. As you can see, it is a very unique and different modular system. You can change out the barrels to fit your needs on what kind of caliber you want to use for that day, which is great. That gives you a whole variety that you can choose from. You can, instead of just being stuck like some of the other manufacturers, stuck with one caliber. But with Desert Tech, you can go between, I don't know, four or five different calibers. And all you gotta do is just, you know, take out the barrel, slide another one, take out the bolt, put in a new bolt, and that's it. It's good to go. Now, when Desert Tech first introduced their MDR system, their microdynamic rifle, I thought it was great. It looked like it was a space age gun, and most especially, it takes PMAGs. I love it when a new rifle system takes PMAGs. And yes, it's a multi caliber system. They can do 6.8 millimeter, they can do 7.62 times 39, or the AK round, 556. 300 blackout, and of course, my favorite, the 7.62 times 51 or 308 Winchester, which I am totally and personally am a fan of because it just has that knocking down power, and most importantly, I can hunt with it. I mean, yeah, you can hunt with 5.56 and 300 blackout and 7.62, but I personally like that round because it has the range and, well, it'll take down a fucker. The thing that I love about the MDR is it takes from its predecessor, the AR-15, as you guys can clearly see. Yes, this is a Daniel Defense SBR V4, 11.5 inch barrel. And while I always wanted to own a short barrel rifle, this is mainly for home defense use. I'm not really going to take this out and hunt with it. Granted, it will be interesting, but this is just a fun gun and home defense like I said before. Now, the thing that the MDR gets right is as you notice with every AR-15, the charging handle is located on the back. Yeah, that's great, but the only problem is if I want to you know, hold it or lock it in place, I first got to pull the charging handle back, then I got to take my opposite hand, put it on the button right here, on the side of the rifle, and lock it in place. Basically, I got to take my hand off the rifle for that to happen. Now, with the MDR, all you have to do is it has a HNK style MP5 type charging handle, which is great. All you do is you hold it in place, it's on the side of the rifle, you're going to grab it, pull the charging handle back, lock it into place, and if you want it to release, all you do is slap it down, which is great. I really, really do appreciate that because I love the MP5 style, and most importantly, it's a badass system, and I like how that charging handle, how you just slap it. But the thing that I love about Desert Tech is they're like, you know, the AR-15 is great, but we're just going to get rid of it because we want to do something new, different, and more innovative. It's going to have multi-caliber, which is great. That AR-15 doesn't. It only shoots 5.56. 5 
oh, but Matt, you can just change the upper half and you can get a 300 blackout. Well, 300 blackout's like a 308. If I want to shoot a 308 type caliber, I'm going to use a 308 caliber. <laughs> 300 blackout is the same price as the 308 or the 7.62 times 51. Also, the best part is that MDR is going to be the same size as that rifle, which is great. That means I don't have to pay a $200 tax stamp. It's going to have a 16 inch barrel. It's going to be as low and compact as that uh, SBR that I just showed you. But I don't have to go to the ATF and say, please give me permission to go and have this rifle. I can just pick it up out of the store and walk right out with it as soon as I do an FBI background check. Now, with that out of the way, I know there's more to the MDR, but I got to move on and tell you the bad side of this. Now, the one thing I find particularly annoying, Desert Tech, is when you do this goddamn fucking shit. You go, you build up the hype. Oh, hey, we're gonna, you, where's the MDR? Oh, it's gonna be here. Look, we're gonna give you information. ID 2015, which was Independence Day 2015. A lot of people were excited. I was on there, I know, I was like, I hope you guys give me something good to go with. I hope there's like a cool video, or the pricing, or something, when the release date is going to happen. But no! All we get is them showing off another four types of MDRs that they're going to put towards the market. And why in the fuck did you guys land on 19 inch barrel? What, you guys were in a business decision and you're going, well, we don't know if we could go with an 18 inch barrel or if we should go to a 20 inch barrel. Honestly, just give us the extra inch, all right? I know us guys really appreciate length, if you get what I'm talking about. So just give us the extra inch and give us a 20 inch barrel, okay? I don't know why you landed on 19. Maybe you guys were just, you know, fighting back and forth and you just landed on 19 because you want to make both sides happy. I don't get why you did that. I don't know the business decision. I wish you would have stated that a little more clearly on why the fuck you did that. You just show us a picture. Here it is. And another thing. Why in the fuck is the MDR, the regular model, shows at 16, uh, 16 inch barrel. It's at 27 inches overall length. But then you go down to the 19 inch barrel with a <laughs> whopping length of 27 inches. I'm sorry, but I think you guys need to go back to school and realize that's not correct. And the measurement system doesn't work like that. You don't add on a longer barrel and you know, I think it's going to be the same length. No, it isn't. Okay guys, it's not going to be the same length. So that's over. Also. I cannot stand when you guys are telling us, oh, you want this rifle, oh, you want it, oh, we're just showing you how good it is. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, but we're not going to give too much away, so we're going to back off of it a bit. Just like I said in the beginning, they feel like it's a girlfriend that's called you over, showed you what you want through like a phone or the internet, you know, just as she's getting you ready, you're about to come, then all of a sudden she's like, you know what, no, my dad might wake up, my mom might be there. So it's just... It kind of pisses me off when you did not give me further information. Now, I know that there are on some websites like Optics Planet and uh, some other ones like a sporting, I know there's a sporting website that I'll put in the link down below where you can pre-order your MDR. Now those prices, I believe for the 5.56, it's $1,900 or no, it's $2,100 and the 308 version is $2,400, which I'm like, okay, I can live with that. I understand. I I can live with that price. But when you guys showed me this update and you're showing, oh, we're doing a 22 LR. Now we're doing a 9 millimeter. Now we're showing a 19 inch barrel. Uh, now we're doing a suppressor. All I hear is, <coughs> which in turn says, hey, I want more money. So that $2,400 price point, well, we're just going to raise it up a bit because it's so unique. Okay, guys, I don't know why you're going to do that. I, I just know you guys are going to raise the price because of that. 
Look, most people are going to base their purchase off of the price. Yes, it's a great system. Yes, it's unique. Yes, it can take multi-caliber. But what I hear is when you say it's multi-caliber, I hear you want a new, so it has a built-in suppressor. Oh wait, it takes, um, it's a bullpup design and it's light. So how I feel, you guys are gonna gouge us out. It's gonna become a $3,000 rifle. I'm sorry, but if it's that much, I'm gonna probably turn and buy the SCAR. That's $2,500. It's a battle-tested and battle-proven weapon system that I would personally own. $2,500 compared to $3,000. Huh, you know, I know some of you fanboys are gonna be like, well, they make great products. It's gonna be have like a one MOA inch, uh, one MOA inch, and uh, for accuracy, it can hit out to a thousand yards. It can do all this stuff. You're gonna defend the fuck out of Desert Tech. But here's the problem: where's the proof? Where's the videos? Where's them taking it out into the range? They say that they shoot three uh, thirty thousand rounds a day out of it. Where's the videos? Yes. There are videos of them shooting a three round burst or full auto, but they're not showing me the accuracy. They're not showing me why in the fuck I should keep it. And plus, I'm a civilian. I'm not gonna buy full auto. I, I wish I could, but it ain't gonna happen. Unless you're a class three dealer, which I'm not. Give me a video. It's space age, it's unique. Give me a video like this. Okay, well, maybe not that extreme, but still just give us where some operators, they're going throughout their mission to save someone or take out their target. They're going around searching, going underwater, getting into firefights, taking shots from long distances. Give us something. All I want to see is law enforcement or military using it, but let's be frankly honest. I don't think that they're going to be using this system. It's going to become a civilian gun. Yes, you have the options of full auto and the law enforcement and military have the options of purchasing it. But if you know anything about them, they're going to stick with the M4. I hope they switch. I really do. I think the M4 is done. It's overrated. It's over with. Please, Desert Tech, please give us something more to go off of. A lot of this is going to be based off of the price. And if you don't justify the price, no one's going to want to buy it. That's what I'm saying. Give us video footage. Give us more to go off of instead of just putting on Facebook, oh, uh, here's a little over here. Here's a little over there. Stay tuned, you guys. It's all great. It's high and dandy when you're giving us information that is only through your words and not through your actions. We want to see it in action. Period. Give it to Larry Vickers. Let him do a torture test to show us how durable it is. I don't know. Hell, maybe it'll be really cool. I mean, he could do something with it. He'll probably freeze it or something. That guy is crazy. The link in the description below will send you to his YouTube channel, and you guys got to check him out. He's cool. He did the Daniel Defense Rifle, and that's why I personally own one, because of that. Also, I want to see how reliable it is with different types of ammo, because not everyone can buy your Desert Tech brand ammunition. Sometimes we're going to have to buy Wolf or Silver Bear, the shit brands. I understand, yes, the MDR is probably not going to be made for it, but we want to know how reliable it is. 
So get like a 50 round drum and uh, just, you know, go shoot a thousand rounds. For God's sake, shoot a thousand rounds of all these ammunitions combined, like PMC, Federal, PPU, Wolf, Tula, Silver Bear, Fuck, VMAX, Hollow Point, you fucking name it, throw it in there. So we can see that it runs. And the best part is, since you guys can do it in full auto, do it in full auto. If full auto can handle it, then I know my semi-automatic version can handle it. I don't know why you guys won't do that. You want to just give us scraps and expect us to buy a $3,000 gun. Yes, I just I was hoping it was going to be 24 I can justify the price. But you guys are going to raise it up because of all those unique features. Will I buy one? If the price doesn't get ridiculous. If it gets too far out there and it's just feeling like you guys are just after my money and stuff like that, I can't justify your guys' quality with spending that much. Yes, I know you fanboys are going to be out there. It shouldn't matter about the price. Well, a lot of people are going to base their purchase off of the price. I mean, yes, the Desert Tech SRS system, they're a great, unique system. I've seen what they can do. But when you get them all configured and everything, they come out to $6,000. I don't know about you, but I don't have $6,000 to run around. Oh, but Matt, uh, it doesn't cost that much. It's only four grand. Yes, that's true. $3,000 for the chassis, $1,500 for the type of barrel you want, or, you know, time to caliber. But then you got to add a scope with the covert. I want to add a suppressor. Hell, I want to add a uh, bipod system. Okay, that's great. That's why it got raised up to $6,000. All right, you guys. I know I bashed Desert Tech a little bit on it, on some of their system. And some of you fanboys, of course, are going to go out and do this. Did you do this, you son of a bitch? But it's just my opinion. I don't hate Desert Tech. I just wish that they would be more reasonable to an average shooter and not jack up the price because they're being so innovative. Just give us a basic model and a price point we can all agree about. Check out the description below because there are going to be videos linked to my channel. And also, I did do a interview with Shooters World that is here in Phoenix, so check that out. I think it's pretty awesome. And another thing, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ask me any question. Tell me to fuck off for you fanboys out there. And, hey, it's my opinion. Peace out. Have a good one. Catch you next time. Nothing to worry about. We come here and we're going to conquer and we're going to take some. Is that understood? Yes, sir. That's what we're going to do, sweetheart. We are going to go. Yeah. I am me! Yeah! yeah. I am me! Yeah! yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Hudson! Get on the ready line, Marine! Get down the die! Get on the ready line! Yo! Hold on! Hold on! God damn it! Get hot! Watch out! Get on! Get on! Get on! Get on! Get on. Ready to get it on. Yeah, Ready, man. Check it out. I am the ultimate badass. Yeah. State of the badass art. You do not want to fuck with me. Check it out. Me and my squad of ultimate badasses will protect you. <laughs> Check it out. Independently targeting particle beam failings. What? For I have a city with this puppy. We got tactical smart missiles, base plasma pulse rifles, RPGs. We got sonic electronic ball breakers. We got nukes. We got knives, sharp sticks.